Get on in here. Hey, everybody. I got me a cup of tea and a hot cup. It's cold. Today, the sun is shining. Can you tell how bright it is in here? And it's a good day. Here's to having a good Saturday. It could be Sunday somewhere else in the world, but it's Saturday right now in the eastern part of the United States. So welcome to Fly Lady Land. I am in my little studio. Hey, Annette. I haven't seen you in a while. She used to be one of my husband's clerks. I hope I am on the Fly Lady page. <laughs> Huntsville, Texas, that's where my brother lives. Hey, that's funny. Just going through things. Look at all this. Norway. I talked to my nephew this morning from his um, his unit at the um, in uh, the prison in West, East Tennessee. And he is just so excited. He said... He's gotten over a hundred cards and letters and everybody just can't believe. They think he joined some pen pal club. And he said, no, I just have a, an aunt who has people who like her. <laughs> He's gotten so many cards and letters. And some of you have sent cards and letters to him and said, friends of. And it just, he shared them with people and it's just made everybody it's just made it for a wonderful time for people who've been incarcerated so doing something kind for somebody you know you 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 can hate the sin but love the sinner and that's what we got to do we got to show people that we love them in a in a simple little way with a card or a letter and and I guess I got the idea to do this from a Hallmark movie. You know, sometimes you just need a senseless, mindless, predictable Hallmark movie because the, the movies going on on TV, the news media and all that stuff, sometimes it's just you want to yell at the TV and you turn it off. You just turn it off. So I've turned on something fun. I've watched a couple of Hallmark movies this morning. Or the end of one and the beginning of another. And I've seen them all before. <clears throat> and I know how predictable they are. But it keeps your mind from thinking and focusing on the negativity in the world. And you, the negative stuff is just hard. Um, I don't have one of his letters in front of me. Maybe maybe my sister will post, post his address. If not, I'll post it on when I edit this video, I'll put it in the in the subject line. So everybody, um, what can you do today to make somebody else's life a little easier? Just as, sometimes it's just a simple, you know, thank you, just a simple thank you, uh, and that you're thinking about them. Now I'm trying to nurture myself right now I got strangled a while ago <clears throat> I put some lime stuff in my in my hot tea and it was so strong I got it got me mm. so I've got hot tea with a little lemon and it just it feels good oh for something for Valentine's Day now if you do send Ben something his name's Ben Cheryl and if you do send him something, it, um, it has to come from uh, Barnes and Noble or Books a Million. Books a Million gets through easily. So if you do send him something, it has to come from there. <clears throat> oh, that's sad. It's a, it's a hard time to lose people. It's a hard time any time to lose people. But I'm going to take a little sip because i got a frog in my throat. Mmm. Now, that's just the right amount. I got too much a while ago. I probably need to make a pot of tea and then <clears throat> just add one of those packets to a whole pot of tea because it's really strong.
Um, oh, sorry, Mimi. Uh, we got some good tips in, you know, yesterday I, I sent out an, a message about the flu season, you know, and how bad it was. And this one lady sent in this, 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 it's a priceless tip, priceless tip. And, and the, if anybody's got Ben's address, post it in here for people. Uh, the priceless tip was. If one of her kids goes to bed feeling a little like they're going to be sick, she takes towels, old towels, there's a reason to save old towels, and puts them beside their bed on the floor. And then that way, and a garbage can, and then that way if they get sick in the middle of the night, <clears throat> cleanup is easy in that aisle. <laughs> and I thought, wow. That is interesting. I thought that was a good tip. Now, I want to thank you all for all the reviews. We've got close to 100 reviews on our new book. I'm not really suffering. I'm not feeling bad. I just got a too much, too much tang got me. But sometimes you just need a cup to hold. And this is one of my favorite cups. I've had this cup for years. And it makes me happy. I like the feel and the shape of this cup. I like the handle on this cup because I can put my hands through it. And I can hug this cup. Um, a lot of, several of you have posted pictures of your book. If you put, um, my sister's posting Ben's, Ben's address. Um, if you Take a picture of the book in your hand or on your shiny sink or anything like that. That would be fun, too. Oh, so I, I got some vitamin C in my water, too. That's always good. But your, your reviews have been amazing. We're in the top 700 right now. And hopefully by the end of the week, we will be right down there in um, in good territory to get noticed by people because when you're in the top 100 on Amazon, people buy your book more. That's, isn't that weird? <clears throat> and you've always done that. Our first book, Sync Reflections, made it to number 49 on Amazon and I my phone didn't stop ringing because we had self-published it. Um, let's see, what else have we got? Oh, oh, I forgot. I got to tell you. Purple Rags, our half price sale on Purple Rags. Oh my, five people sick. Purple Rags are going to be um, no longer half price on Monday. That's our last day for, for the half price sale. And then by my birthday next Friday, the complete cleaning package is going to go back to its regular price. I've been to West Kelowna, BC. Yes, I have. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? I had a friend that lived there. Uh, the flu hitting us is awful. I mean, it's just terrible. Everybody being sick and... I know many of you don't believe in flu shots, but since uh, that <clears throat> that uh, writer for a, a conservative newspaper that I, I follow, and she was sometimes on on uh, Fox News, Fox Business, and Fox News, she passed away last week, before right before New Year's, and. She got sick on Thursday and, and passed away on Friday, and she was 26 years old. The, um, the coupon code for today, and it ends at midnight, is HOME974. For tomorrow, the coupon code is, for the next week, is ORGANIZE O. 
eight four. It'll be in, in every email that goes out. Somebody asked a question yes in an email yesterday what kind of cleaner she can use to clean her shower her glass shower and i told her she didn't need to use any cleaner that all you need is a purple rag all you need is a purple rag that's it all you need is a purple rag now <clears throat> The film that's on your glass shower is soap. And if you will take a purple rag or a one of those mesh balls and scrub your shower, it will make soap. And you can do it while you're in the shower. Isn't that, isn't that funny? Do it while you're in the shower. And it gets it done. Back to the flu. I'm, I'm all over the place today. And I shouldn't be because I'm drinking tea and it's got a little caffeine in it. Bree was her name. I can't remember her last name. But Bree was only 26 years old and she got the flu. Now, a lot of people said they don't have time to take a flu shot. I got mine in about 10 minutes at CVS. And for me, it was free with our insurance. I didn't have to pay a dime for it. <clears throat> and it, it covered four types of flu. A's and B's and H1N1. It's just sad, you know. I guess it hits the younger people. Bree Payton, yep. Thank, I thought that was the name, but I didn't want to say it and be wrong. So folks, we got to take care of ourselves. If you can stop the flu from attacking you, my friend Donna had pneumonia during Christmas. And that's tough. When you feel your... Here's my rule. When we have a bright low humidity days, we turn on our humidifier because we need to keep our sinuses moist. If our sinuses dry out, that means they get cracked and your nose starts bleeding. Even if it's just a little bit of, of blood, you know you've got a crack in your nose and that's going to let germs into your body. It's going to let germs in your body. So we get our, when the heat starts going, we, we always know what the humidity levels are and we turn our humidifier. Sometimes I'll boil water on the stove, but if you do that, if you do that, if you boil water on the stove, you got to set a timer to fill it up every, every hour. <clears throat> I get a big pot boiling and... You know, having pneumonia is not fun. And if you've got little kids in your house and you feel like your lungs are, are filling up, let your little kids pound you on the back and, and break that stuff loose. Now, I like to use, I don't have one in here. <clears throat> I need to put it in my little box over here. My little, little, <clears throat> my joy pail, because I'm filling it up. As I see things that need to go in there, I am putting them in there. I even have a humidifier in my car that I can plug into the USB port and stick into a water bottle. And I can humidify the air in my car because when you run your heat, you dry the air out. Taking care of yourself is important. I, and I use a saline na na nasal spray. It doesn't have any chemicals in it. It's just saline. <clears throat> and saline is, it's called AYR is the name of the spray bottle. And it is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So folks, let's, let's take care of ourselves. If you turn your heat on, then you need humidity in the air. 
Sometimes you can even put, um, <clears throat> put um, a humidifier on your heating. Kathy has that. She has a humidifier on her heating unit. And it puts humidity into the air while it puts out heat, which is a great thing. But keeping the air humidified is going to help keep germs away because your sinuses are going to stay moist and, and wonderful. Now, I, sp I spray my nose. Um, I keep one in the shower. So I spray one in the shower and I spray it when I get up and I spray it before I go to bed. So take care of yourself. Get some humidity going and do some good stuff for you. Remember, the purple rags are going off sale on Monday. I don't know why it got interrupted. Anyway, I know I, this morning our, our neighbor came to the door and he, he came and had, um, I had a Christmas present for him. And he just loved unwrapping a Christmas present first thing in the morning. I know I was awful buying him a carton of cigarettes, but <laughs> it's all he wants. He just wanted cigarettes, and he was going to walk to town to get cigarettes, so I saved him to town, a trip to town, because I knew that's what he wanted. Hey, Karen. So everybody take a drink. Keep, keep, get, 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 hum, get the liquids into your body. It's wonderful. Oh, that tastes good. It tastes really good. The FileLady.net is where you where you get uh, our our tools, our wonderful tools. Somebody post a link for the purple rags. Drink your water, people. Yep, yep, yep. Sanitizing your phone is good too. That you can take um, a little alcohol on our purple rags or a little alcohol on anything and wipe down some stuff. Wipe, wipe down light fixtures. Um, not soaky wet, but you can wipe down everything. A lot of people leave, have Clorox wipes that they keep to sanitize things. It's a great way to get in the habit of doing that. I have... Um, I have started doing something. We go to a wonderful Chinese buffet called Twin Dragons here. And Twin Dragons, I have a hard time touching utensils. I know I'm a germ phobe. I don't touch doors. I open doors with the tail of my shirt. And I push doors open with my arms. I, don't, I just don't touch handles. And then when I get in the car, I, I put hand sanitizer. And... I don't eat with my hands. I always use a fork. And and so that way I don't transfer germs from my hands. But the other day, I started using my napkin to pick up the salt shaker. And I also put a napkin in my hand and went to the the buffet table. And I use that to fill my plate up. And I know it might have looked funny. I, if I'd had a rubber glove, I'd have put that on. But I didn't have a rubber glove in my... Because people were... I could hear people coughing. And I try to stay away from people coughing. And, you know, people say to cough into your elbow. Well, I don't believe that. I think you need to cover your mouth totally when you cough. Not just let it spray out around your elbow. Take your hand and a hanky and cover your mouth. If you don't have it, I would do this. But totally cover your mouth. Well, the napkin is on our table. I didn't have to pick it up from anywhere. The napkin was with our utensils. And when when the girl, I've watched uh, Kim, when she wraps the na napkin around the utensils, she has rubber gloves on. So it's kind of, um, so it's, it's virtually clean. 
But there are other napkins on the table that they lay on the table too. And it, it's just, I'm getting to be worse as I get older. And next, next Friday, I'll be 63. Imagine that. Happy birthday. Con, I think it was Connie. Well, that's good, Diane. What else? What other news have we got? News, 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 news. Well, I guess no news is good news. I noticed on TV a while ago that they were having the funeral for that fallen police officer from um, California. So say, say a prayer for his five-month-old and his wife and his service dog. An investigation of bacteria on paper towels. I don't use paper towels. I use purple rags and dish rags. I rarely, only time I use a paper towel is if I'm going to drain bacon. Drain bacon. I don't want to hear about the, oh, that's awful. That's awful if there's lots of bacteria in paper towels. So say a little prayer for all the officers who are, in harm's way, all, all our military people who are in harm's way, let's bring them home. Hey, Jenny. I know Jenny. Y'all are just so busy today. Look at all these comments. Y'all are wonderful. Well, if you get a chance, go check out my book, The Chaos Cure. I got, well, that's, that's a galley copy. This is the good copy. Look how pretty it is. And it was so much fun to write. I was just jabbering today. I really didn't have a whole lot to say. But y'all take care of yourself. Y'all take care of yourself. I love you all. And I will see you tomorrow afternoon. Go out there and have some fun today. It's sunshiny here. We hadn't, and we're supposed to have sun for seven days. How fun is that? So how many of you, oh, I got to, I got to fill you in. My, my, um, determination to walk up and down the stairs every day for 10 times. I've done it for four days in a row. And yesterday I even did four of them at one time. So I'm getting stronger. There's Tammy. <clears throat> so everybody, do a little movement today. And let's bless ourselves. I want to get stronger in the new year. And walking up and down my stairs does that. And you would be so surprised how many things I can take to the basement and get down in the basement and, and clear that need to be in the basement and how many things that are in the basement that need to be upstairs because I'm not making dry runs here. Uh, laundry has gotten done. I don't think there's a dirty piece of laundry in our house. Sheets have gotten done. You just dish towels, towels, you name it. I have even done the pillowcases on the pillows on my couch. I can't believe how much stuff I, I can keep that washing machine going. And I've kept it going. I've put it in the dryer. I've folded it. I've put it away. Going up and down. Do it. I've just, I've just been doing it. So it used to be I would get huffy and puffy after one one stint of going up and down the stairs. I did four yesterday at one time. And I'm getting ready to do four again. Because maybe I'll do five. Can you give me some help with my wonderful calendar, please? The hole where it hangs. Let's see. The hole where it hangs. From ripped soon after I hung it. Then I bought the two fridge magnets from your site to hang it, 
and they aren't strong enough. The counter slips down on the fridge. Ooh, send, um, send an email to Jessica. Send an email to orders at flylady.net and tell Kathy the problem and she'll take care of you. She'll take care of it. But I don't know why the magnet doesn't work. That's, that's weird. For now, if you could get some bulldog clips, because these things, these magnets are so strong, your refrigerator may not be totally uh, magnetic. Well, steel. It may have another alloy in it, which, but these things, I have to pry them off of my little, little uh, stand here. Uh, in my bathroom, I have got some bulldog clips, and you can hang them from um, from the bulldog clip itself and put a command hook, two command hooks, and hang it from that for now. But email Kathy, and she'll take care of you. Tell her you talk to me on the show. Do you wash your clothes after wearing it one time? Sometimes I do. But sometimes I wear my pants two that my jeans two days. Shirts, I usually get something on the girls. That's just how it goes. I always drop something on the girls and they have to be washed. But it's always something. You know how it is. Trying to look catch up with a my refrigerator is not magnetic in the front. The sides are. Oh, that's interesting. But command hooks. I love command hooks. I don't. Do I have one in here? Let me see if I got one in this drawer. But I use command hooks for everything. I, I get a supply of them. And those command hooks are absolutely um, amazing. But I like bulldog clips too. Yeah, let's see what else y'all got to say. Any more questions here? Yeah, I got my... See, Robert made this for me. He took the tip off of... See the tip here? That was on something that is supposed to use on an iPad or a phone. And he made me this stick. And then he he put a wire down the stick to conduct. I don't know why, but it conducts. What's a command hook? It is a 3M product that has a, that doesn't hurt your wall. You can pull a little thing off and the, you pull a little tab and you can pull it off the wall. All of my pictures are hung with command stuff because you don't mess up your wall. I don't want to put hole in a wall. I did hang my, my, um, flag on a big hook though on a nail yep everybody loves a rubber scrubber last night in the middle of the night i keep a rubber scrubber on my my uh, nightstand and somehow during the middle of the night i knocked it off on the floor and it made a noise and i didn't know what it was Yeah, that's right. That's a command hook. And there's all shapes and sizes. Get on Amazon and order some. They are the best things in the world to have. I've got them for pictures. I've got them for hanging calendars. You name it. There's even, I even talk about them in the chaos cure. I have a whole chapter on hooks. Hook, them, hook it up. That's the good thing about it. Your stick is like a magic. Well, it's not really fancy. He didn't he didn't put it on the router, but he made it for me so I can touch the screen and flip things without having to get out of my chair, which makes makes me keep from making you dizzy. Well, happy new year to all y'all.
And have a good day. Do something fun. I'll see you later. I got to get this ready to go out to everybody. I've just been all over the place today. Don't you love it when I'm just... Mm, the stick is legendary. I don't know about that. But Robert made it for me and it makes me happy. Makes me happy. See y'all later. Love you.